It's been a great learning lesson for me and my staff just as a coach. I think as coaches, you're always trying to grow and learn and having kind of rebuilt two programs now in a way, it's uh, there's always so much more that you, you realize you can do and, and you can learn. And I think from where we started to where we are now, I'm proud of what we've done. Um, I'm not satisfied, I'm not comfortable. I think there's more, a lot more to do. Um, but I think we've done it the right way, and that's not, we haven't cut any corners. We haven't taken a shortcut. It's, uh, it's been one year, one season at a time, building it, building it, improving, developing. And uh, we're just very proud of, of how we've handled the situation and how we built it, and we've stayed together. I have a wonderful staff, um, and we have just done it with communication, honesty, hard work, togetherness, all the blue collar intangibles. Uh, I think that's what Bradley basketball has been built on. I mean, I, I don't like living in the past a lot, but for that experience, I think what you gain is just, I think as a group, is, is a confidence about your system, that it, that it wins. And if you do it consistently enough and, 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 and together and, and, and you play for each other and you protect each other, that good things can happen for you, and that's all I preach. And so I think it's a confidence booster to the returners that have, have been through it. Winning two tournaments in a season was a big step. I don't think many teams did that throughout the country. They'd be able to go in and win two tournaments in a year. So uh, we got to build off that, but that doesn't mean much now. But a great lesson is uh, enjoy the journey, not the destination. And I enjoy the process, enjoy it every day, the good, the bad, the ugly, the great. Just enjoy it, embrace it, learn from it, and keep growing. And I think that's what we really learned. The emotion after winning that tournament wasn't about the build of the program. It, it didn't have anything really to do with that. Well, I'm, I'm, I should take that back. It was more of that season, the ups and downs of the season, and, and understanding uh, that we didn't take a shortcut. We didn't cut a corner to get there. We, we did it the right way, and we did it together, and, and that's the ultimate feeling of team sports. The kid's a winner. He's just unselfish. He's grown so much in, in, in so many areas. It's, it, and you'll hear this from coaches all the time. Is, why do you coach college ball? It's, it's to make a difference, and, and you see – just how a young man like Darryl, freshman year to now, it's just a totally different person. You see that with a lot of our players. And um, that's what gets you excited is, is, is you want to go to war with those type of guys, those high character guys that have been through the ups and downs with you, the growing pains of, of building the program. And, and Darryl's a young man that works extremely hard. Uh, he loves the game of basketball, uh, but he also loves being a teammate. He loves being a part of a group and, uh, and will do whatever for his teammates. And I think that's when you have a player of his caliber with that mentality, good things will happen for your program, no matter what program it is. Missouri Valley, when you look at other leagues, you know, because we recruit against other leagues all the time, and just the fan base, where, wherever you go on the road, at home, obviously I think Bradley fans are the best, and we have tremendous support, and Carver Arena's always got, I think, the biggest crowds. But even when you go on the road, there's great crowds. Everybody's got support, and I think that's what's special about the Valley is just it's the cities that you go to and the support that you get in those cities. They are basketball towns. This is a basketball league, and I, and I think if you're a hooper and you love to play, this is what you want to be a part of. You want to be the, the center of attention, and uh, I think that's what's exciting uh, to be around. It's very well led. Doug's a great commissioner. I, I've enjoyed my years. I've learned a lot, and uh, I I think it's we're going to have some fun years coming ahead for sure.